Hello dear learners, I am Dr. M. V. Sunil Krishna working as an associate professor in the Department of Physics at the Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee. I carry out research on various aspects of atmospheric and space physics, primarily on space weather, thermospheric and ionospheric physics. I also teach various courses on atmospheric physics and general physics for the undergraduate and the postgraduate students at IIT Roorkee. I welcome you all to this 60 lecture certification course titled Advanced Atmospheric Physics. The course assumes you to have basic understanding of atmospheric science and is intended to be taken by BTEC fourth year or MSc students. The course requires knowledge of graduation level mathematics and physics. The course is an extension to the NPTEL course titled Introduction to Atmospheric and Space Sciences. The course attempts to impart knowledge on advanced aspects of atmospheric and space physics. The course starts with the basics of inertial or non-inertial frames of references. We will try to see what are the various different types of forces and how these forces will help us in understanding the dynamical phenomena of the atmosphere. We will try to see how these forces can be combined into a single momentum equation. And in the process, we will also derive all the governing equations which are essential in understanding the atmospheric dynamics. Starting from the momentum equation, we will try to see how things will change for a synoptic scale motion. Based on the understanding of governing equations and the scaling analysis, we will try to understand the atmospheric waves and various different types of instabilities that we can see in the atmosphere. We will see what are the various conditions which will decide different types of winds such as gradient winds and thermal winds etc. The second half of the course is devoted to the understanding of different phenomena related to ionosphere and thermosphere. We will understand the theory behind the structure of ionosphere and we will try to see how the various layers of ionosphere form during the day and disappear during the night. We will try to understand different processes leading to the formation and the disappearance of the ionospheric layers. Subsequently, we will try to understand the coupling between the solar energy and the magnetosphere. How does the magnetosphere form or how does the Earth's magnetosphere compare with other planets in our solar system? We will understand the single particle motion in a variety of electric and magnetic fields. The theory behind the solar wind, various aspects of solar wind, and how the solar wind formation and the acceleration can be related to the space weather events and the formation of Earth's radiation belts, etc. So, I welcome you all to this course and I wish you a great learning.